why in news about things that nobody asked for and are only real because corporations have to invade every facet of our life you can now shop at a virtual walmart in roblox because going to walmart in real life was already super fun too much fun in fact so uh yeah i'm very glad that we can do it online now too this yeah is great yeah, yeah. Shopping at Walmart has always been the epitome of shopping, right? Like, oh, it's if, divine. <laughs> divine. If you want, if you want crap covered bathrooms and uh, birds eating produce, Walmart is the place to go. <laughs> Fun fact: I used to work for that corporation, and uh, yeah, I've never seen a clean a, a clean bathroom in, in, <laughs> in one of those stores ever, ever, ever. It's <laughs> so let's explain how this is supposed to work, right? Um, first, you're going to go to the Walmart IRL store, which is in the Walmart Discovered World in Roblox, where you'll see a virtual storefront that represents real life products made of matter and stuff, right? Like these are supposed to be, you know, digital analogs for real products. Then you're going to buy the items through a virtual web browser that functions like the actual Walmart e-commerce store. And once the purchase is complete, you can expect your real physical purchase on your doorstep in a matter of days. Uh, so do you have to like put your credit card payment information to it or like how does that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are putting your yeah. credit card information into this system and according to walmart's brand uh walmart's director of brand experiences um he sounds very very confident he says it's all powered by walmart api that handles all of the information super securely it's very safe the safest trust the me safest. trust me guys it's, it's safe <laughs> so what could what could we like actually buy through this store danny like what, what, what what's on there i haven't even looked at it <laughs> so right now there, for this trial there's going to be three items there's the uh, a no boundaries festival bag a stainless steel tumbler and a pair of wireless headphones now quality, uh, quality i'm going to assume all of these things are also just like their in-house brand so like the wireless headphones i'm assuming are just going to be onn yeah um, probably you know or whatever like what is uh like their stainless steel tumbler that, that what's their in-house brand I, uh is that like I, homes and gardens or whatever <laughs> no uh if it's not great value then it's i don't know mainstay probably mainstay there we go that's probably, probably. What it is. um <laughs> yeah but uh the the extra bonus here is that these are designed by roblox creators who I've never heard of, but I'm guessing your iPad kid nephew probably has. Um, oh, yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not even going to mention who they are uh, because I don't care. We don't care at all. Um, currently, this whole thing is a uh, test that will run through May, and I honestly hope it's not successful. <laughs> same. 100% same. <laughs> this, this, is, this is not what we need. So uh, for a couple of reasons, and first, I'm going to point out that tactically both Walmart's online service and Roblox are meant for users ages 13 and up. According to Backlinko, 60% of uh, Roblox's users are under the age of 16. 22% of their total audience is under the age of 9 and 23% of their total audience is between the ages of 9 and 12. That's 45% of the total audience being under the age of 13 in a game that has 70.2 million daily users. Yeah, whenever I think of Roblox, I automatically assume I, like my picture perfect of Roblox is a small 13 year old squeaker just like yelling at the screen. Yeah. And we want to advertise to them directly like this. We want, we want, uh, we want a corporation to build a world for them to explore uh, in, in Roblox so they can buy products directly. That, I'm sorry, that's too dystopian for me. Uh, and we already know that Walmart can't be trusted to self-regulate in the space be in how they advertise to children because this isn't the first time they've tried to integrate themselves into Roblox and then they've had to quietly take it down because it violated regulations. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So 
and I'll be honest, like reading this, I don't even get how this could be geared at adults. Like they don't have that excuse. This doesn't sound like an appealing way to purchase products. It doesn't feel like it's a very, it feels like it's a very roundabout way of making a purchasing decision. In my mind, as an adult with adult money and freedom, the only way I'd even consider using this if there was some really cool exclusive item. But that's a long shot. Very long shot. And we also have to be like interested in Roblox too. Like, uh, it's just it's just the online store with extra steps, you know. Yeah. I you know th there's no way that this is is targeting anyone except for children because again, forty five percent of you know their user base daily is under the age of thirteen. Yeah, you know, we're we're a pretty tiny podcast and we have these statistics. Like it's not hard to find. So now, like imagine uh, what a giant conglomerate like Walmart can get their hands on you know, compared to like what we have for just these statistics, you know, uh, you can't say that this isn't purposeful. I'd also like draw attention to that, the main, uh, to what's being sold because, you know, tumblers, uh, bags, you know, small items that like, you know, it's not very, it's not, um, you know, notebooks and, and, you know, more adult geared items. It's more of like a general, uh, thing that like a lot of, I, like I'd buy a festival bag when I was a teen. I'd buy a, a tumbler when I was a teen for sure, especially if it was like Destiny labeled, you know. Uh, so yeah, it's it. It while anyone can argue that they, these three items are like marketed towards everyone, uh, if you have younger younger siblings, cousins, kids, whatever, you know that these things are like the epitome of cool, especially since they're you know so unique with the Roblox labeling and created by Roblox uh, creators, which again. 45% of their user base under the age of 13. Yeah. Yeah. It's like very insane that we're going to like to just allow this. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Good. And like, I'm going to, I'm an adult. Like it, when I'm seeing like a store in Roblox, right. For Walmart with, with items that you can physically purchase, like to me, like that's just inconvenient more than anything. I uh, like I, I would rather it's going to the online store with extra steps. Yeah. <laughs> it's extra steps. Why? Right? It's clearly targeted. It's it's gross. Very gross. Very gross. But uh, you know, we're gonna keep it short for you guys uh in this video. Those are those are the facts as we know them. And that's all we've got for you in this episode of Late Stage Capitalist Hellscape. Join us next week when they uh put microtransactions in Doom. <laughs>